hear me. It's, uh, it's time. I knew you'd come. Oh yeah, you're some kind of psychic or something. The walls told me. Okay, I'm gonna slip these handcuffs on you. You're still in my custody till I safe. <laughs> Otherwise, you understand? Yes, sir. I'm also gonna search you and make sure you don't get anything that can harm me in any way, okay? <laughs> What's... Oh dear. What's uh what's in this box? A gift. What kind of gift? A necklace. A necklace. You opened it? You mind if I take a look? Make sure it's nothing that's gonna hurt me. Sure. You need me to get you to the doctor? You're not sounding so good. Oh, I'm better than ever. Let's, uh, let's get you processed. Did you miss me? I wouldn't say miss is the right word. Come on, you walk in front of me. Still don't see what's so funny. Some kind of joke I'm not missing. Everything's funny. Especially no, no, it's you. not. Oh, what's so funny about me, though? With your funny red coat. <laughs> And the way I dress funny, that's, uh, that's down to you. Hey. Hey. Listen. You know something sacred? Sure. I, uh, I deal in secrets. I'm already a famous motherfucker. I'm gonna make you famous. Listen, uh, I'm not sure how you I'm think you're gonna, gonna do that. Make you famous. And how are you gonna do that? That would just ruin the surprise. You know what, uh, my name's already pretty well known. The Chanzos, Captain Man. No one, uh, no one stands a chance. They've all, uh, tried to roll the dice against me and it's not worked out so well.
Yeah. Well, I won't let him. And I won't let you forget either. What, uh... What happened to you? I've had a long time to think. No, I'm talking about before you ended up in Sisica this time. Because, uh... When I first met you, you were... You're some kind of highwayman. You were... Thought yourself trying to make a name for yourself as this uh, vagabond. Taken from the, the rich to give to himself and make his life better. Now... Now you're trying to kill Lorman. Is that you? Is that who you want to be now? You're Murderer Joey. Is that what you want to be known as? My name's not Joey. What is it then? I'm the Wallaby Kid. No, that's, uh... That's who you think you are. That's you forgetting everything that's come before. Your name is Joey Johnson. You had a life before this, before you picked up a gun and started to hurt people. My name is not Joey. I met a lot of people like you that, uh, don't like thinking about the past and the name they left behind, but it's who you are. And this thing you're trying to invent for yourself, it's gonna... It won't last long. So who did you used to be now? Where you end up up here and... You must have come from something. You weren't always called the Wallaby Cat. This is who I am. This is what I was born to do. And that's why I'm the best at it. You think you were born to do it? You were born with a pistol in your hand, were you? <laughs> if only it was that simple. I mean, it's as complicated as you want to make it, really. You think you were born to hurt people? I was born to be the best. There's all types of best and all types of things you could be good at. No one's born to be the best at everything. And if you honestly think you were put on this earth to make it a, a worse place to hurt people, to rob people, then I feel sorry for you. But I don't know, that's... I think you might want to tell yourself that. But I don't think it's true. Because, uh... I, I saw that look in your eyes. 
And that, uh, that lady of yours, she was lying there bleeding. That wasn't the wallaby kid I saw there in your eyes. Looking at her. Tears welling up. I got a feeling that was Joey in that moment. And it was Joey that wanted to uh, make sure she was okay. It's Joey that handed himself in so she didn't get hurt anymore. So she didn't have to go to Sissica. Because I got a feeling the Wallaby kid would have been the one that left her there to bleed out when you ran off. No. Only person that can save you right now is yourself. <laughs> you threw me in that hell. To try to break my brain, but you never could do it. No, we I'm threw you in that. Clearer now that I ever have. We threw you in that hell because uh, we tried to murder someone. You pointed a gun at someone, not with the intent to rob them or scare them or make a name for yourself. You pointed a gun at someone, intended to take their life. You decided to play fucking God that day. You don't play God. No. You decide what's right and wrong. Do you not? No. I don't decide what's right or wrong. I uphold what is right or wrong. Decided by the people of this county. The boat glitched. If I was playing God right now, I'd kick you out of this fucking boat and just tell him you'd I'd try to swim for safety. <laughs> Might be the smartest thing you could do. It's not the right thing to do. That's what I deal with, what's right and wrong. And I can tell you right now, that path you're on is straight fucking wrong. If you continue to choose it, God help you and the rest of the people you call friends. Cause you're gonna drag them right down with you to hell. Feel good underneath your feet. Free soil. Oh, yes. Very pleasant. You understand that you got a chance here. You go uh, telegram that beautiful girl of yours and you tell her you're free and you, you ride off with her. Then you got a chance. You got a chance to make your life mean something. To be worth something. what it's worth, I'm sorry about your friend. Are all the law sorry or just you? 
I don't think there's a single person in our department that enjoys knowing people died for what they did, but we do the right thing every time. And I know that whoever did that wouldn't have had a choice. No. There was one who found it very amusing. <laughs> who was that? Man by the name of Wright. He thought it was quite humorous. <laughs> well, listen, Wright's an old timer. He's seen a lot of death. No, I'm not going to excuse that. You understand, unless this stops, this will keep happening. We'll be back in the same position six months down the line. Be dragging your ass to Sissica. Someone else dead. Only got so much left to give, Joey. My name is not Joey. And the moment you lose sight of him completely is the moment you'll last for good. You'd be wise not to say that name. You threatening me? No. You'd be wise not to say that name. Joey, I'm gonna take the handcuffs off now and you're gonna walk straight out of here and you're gonna think about what I said, you understand? You think about what I said? Oh, I'm thinking about it, all right. And I'm thinking about putting you on that boat and sailing right back there. Don't, uh, prove me wrong, okay? Good luck, Joey. Go. Go find something good to hold on to. Don't you let go.
Scarlet Rose. Thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Thank you. too high i wasn't even saying anything how could it be too high for literally nothing happening i don't know if that's even possible i gotta decide do we keep his hair long or do we cut it This hair is like there's like a glitch with hats. I might check out some other long hairs, I don't know, we'll see. Let's get dressed. Spectre, think for eleven months. top here. the fucking thing it's just it's just buggy
This one's definitely the best one. That one. It's just the fucking glitch, man. I hate that. I happen, does it happen? I think it happens with all the, all the hats. Like it, it just doesn't work with hats. This hat. It's minor. I guess we'll just keep it then. Fuck it. By the way, I put I put foundation on him to make him paler. See the white? It's makeup to make him look pale. I think it looks really cool. Like that. That looks good. I've also darkened around the eyes. To make him look sickly. Notice it, dude. It just looks like shadow from like the collar and the hair. Not that big of a deal. I can make it work. Yeah, he just got released just just now. Don't waste this huge story on making a knockoff Joker. What has this got to do with Joker? Because he laughs, means he's Joker. Is that how you think story-wise? That is very basic thinking in terms of like character. Swamp. What you gotta understand is, if you listen to like the thing about the thing about the laugh, the way that I comprehend it is, this is a character that's had a lot of pain in his life, a lot of it, and uh, losing Bob, and then being thrown into Siska for so long, and then solitary. He's a he's broken. He would. The kid was never a mentally strong character, right? We saw that when Jack kidnapped him the first time. He instantly broke, okay? He's a mentally fragile character. That blue, though. Uh, can you guys even see? I need a lantern, man. Do I have one? I don't. Um, and he laughs. His laugh is his way of, like, coping with said pains in his life. He doesn't, he's not actually laughing. It's more of a coping mechanism. If that makes any sense. I'm using a different filter for, uh, for Wallaby. Because he, he got, he, remember this, remember this. And this is, this is key. This is key. Before the Wallaby kid broke, before it became twisted, he was always a light-hearted character that laughed all the time at everything. 
his robberies used to include people dancing and he'd laugh and he'd sing and he, he was a very happy fun character so his default like the, his default is i'm in pain but to show that i'm not in pain i gotta be like i was before which is laughing all the time and having fun but but it's force he's forcing it now which makes it sound twisted you understand what i mean that's kind of the way i'm thinking of it he laughed a lot before all this even but it was legit laughter and now he hasn't now he he, he has no like he doesn't have that anymore. He, he's had so much already. He's like had so much happen to him that he can no longer laugh. Yeah, we got we got a twisty emote. Exactly. His mind is, is fractured. Absolutely. Absolutely. He was never he was never a mentally strong character. So he's been pushed off that edge. So the way that he's thinking now is doing things the way we did it before got Bob killed. So we got to change things up. Otherwise, Missy's going to get killed. And that's his focus right now. He's making sure Missy doesn't get killed. And that might mean extremes. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. I haven't checked my telegrams in ages. Okay, uh, Saf. Interesting. No lawman is perfect as much as I wish they were. I wasn't there, but I'm sorry, kid. I suppose the deputies that weren't involved deserve to... I meant... I suppose the deputies that weren't involved deserve to get shot, though. Because you are in pain, question mark. Think about what you're saying. I know you're better than that. I know that you can be. That's going to be a choice you have to make, and no one can make it for you. Peaches, LJ. I'm trying to talk to her, but she refuses to elaborate on the telegram she sent to Missy. I told her to, f I told her to fuck off after what she did to Eddie. She doesn't want to tell me anything anymore. Do you know about what's going on? I'm the only one out here, and if Summers is looking for me, then there's not much I can do. I have no idea what's going on with the Summers thing. Like, I got no idea. Chrissy. Some, something about Eddie. The cut wants to kill Eddie and attacked LJ because they shot one of his men. Can you reach out, Chrissy? Interesting. Okay. Higgsy. Missing you. Oh, I really miss you. Oh, no. Look forward to seeing you. Check in, LJ. I haven't heard from you in a while. I'm just checking in to know if you want to get... Well, if you want me to get you anything... Uh, I can have someone bring you food or smokes. Oh, thanks. Thanks, LJ. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> Rufus. You get out yet, mate? Take it easy in there. I'll do my best to hold up things here. But I've been stuck on other work too. Rufio. All right, let's telegram Pigsy. Or maybe I shouldn't telegram Pigsy. Maybe I should surprise them. Just show up one day. Surprise them with murder. <laughs> I need water is what we need. Yeah, 
We need water, big time. I got a gold bar to sell, holy shit. I can see the kid getting beat up because of how he's kind of weird now. I can see people like being on him for sure. He's not physically stronger, obviously. He's actually probably would be uh, physically weaker, but he could definitely potentially be more dangerous. Let's get a Valentine. Again, will you execute him? Uh, execution is not out of the question, but it all depends on story, dude. Put story first. We'll see where it goes, man. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know. You got to understand. I haven't really kept track on much of what's been happening out here with the dead end kids. He's very disconnected right now. Um... He might not even he, honestly. I don't know what the future of the dead end kids is at this point. We'll see. It could it could anything could happen, man. He's got, he's got his, um, concerns about certain aspects of the dead end kids. That moon looks so cool with the filter with the blue. That looks great. How you doing, Polarizer? One of those concerns is definitely LJ. LJ has always been wishy-washy. And it's getting to that point now where decisions are probably going to have to be made. We'll see. There's a there's a plethora of, of ways this could go. The fear for TWK is uh, he can get you anytime, anywhere, and you won't see him coming. Now apply it to hits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've always said that the crossing was very lucky. That the Wallaby Kid was as nice of a criminal as he was. Because he's a sneaky son of a bitch, bro. He's a bit of a creeper. Do you still consider the outlaw thing like a game? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a slightly more serious game. Or an extremely more serious game. But yes. Okay, it does end up at the gallows. At least, you know, they were repaired by the best nailer in the crossing. Ah, uh, yes. They call my wallaby a creeper. Uh, when, when I say creeper, I mean in terms of, uh, you know, being able to stalk people to rob them and being able to move around and get people by surprise. That's kind of what I mean by that. That looks so fun. How dope does that look, guys? Oof. That's a fucking screenshot.
a very uh, weird hour at the moment. How old is Wallaby now? Uh, like 20, 21, something around that. I'm sure a lot's changed, man. I've been, I, I mean, I did like 18, 19 days in Cisco with him. Uh, I'm sure a lot's changed with the dead end kids. I don't have much of an idea. Like I know a couple things here and there, but ultimately I don't know all that much of where the gang is at. Um, so I look forward to like talking to everybody and learning what's going on. Um, kind of want to surprise them one day, just like maybe they're having a meeting at, meeting at the clubhouse and then they just hear his whistle. I think that'd be a really cool way to reintroduce Wallaby to the fray. Uh, we know that the cut are after Eddie. Um, I mean, that's got nothing to do with Wallaby, but if they're going after Eddie, then they're going after the dead end kids. So we're going to have probably address that one way or the other. How you doing, Dust? Speak of the devil. Well, the thing is, before, um, Wallaby was very, like, not interested in, like, teaming up with anybody or having any kind of alliance or doing any really violent stuff. If that changes, he becomes a very useful tool to whoever sort of snatches him up, right? He'll all of a sudden, he'll all of a sudden become a very valuable free agent. If that is how it goes. Yeah, I saw this. I gotta sell this emerald. I saw that at the um, general store, right? You guys gonna? You guys want to see? Um, what the fine is at the moment. I haven't looked in the bank in a while. Let's have a look. That was the thing of the two month resub, dude. Sorry, but I have to kill you. My bad. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Let's see what the damage is. Now it won't be 60. Okay. All right. Let's put the watch in there. Um, the last things can go in there. That's a book by Molly. Never seen the light. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the biggest fine in the crossing, I would assume. I don't think anyone would have 44,000 negative. I highly doubt it, bro. But keep in mind, the last like 32 days, we've only had Wallaby Kid out of Sisica for two days at like 32. That's insane. The only people that do that many days in like like that are people that are like choosing to stay for that, that long. Right, do you not sleep? I have not slept, no. Just doing a short wallaby stream. 
Where'd those two go? Actually, you know who I should... I, I got a telegram, uh, Jack. Love to, but I don't. I don't want to jump right into crime. Howdy. Hello. Hi there, Yuki. Oh yes, I'm very good. How are you? Uh, I'm not too bad, thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name's Keith. Keith, have we met before? I don't think so. What's your name? They call me the Wallaby Kid. Ah, is that right? Oh no, I've just heard about you, but I've not met you before. <laughs> good things. Ah, uh, depends what you classify as good. Definitely got a wee bit of a reputation for yourself, so doing all right there, I guess. You're not gonna start whistling, are you? Do you like whistling? Yeah, it depends if it's a good tune. I'm pretty good at it. How good? The best. Oh, okay. That's you know, you've said that actually with a lot of confidence. It's a pretty bold pretty bold statement, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Cheers. I like your hat. What do you like about it? Uh, it's nice color. It's interesting. I actually don't think I've seen anybody wear a hat like that before. It's one of a kind. Did you get somebody here to make it for you? No. Was handed down to me. Oh, is that right? Who from? I don't wanna play in your yard. I don't like you anymore. You'll be sorry when you see. Hey, that was a pretty good song. Thank you. That's right. Do you like games? Uh, it depends what kind of games, actually. But, you know, don't mind a good, good wee little game occasionally.
You win. Oh. What do I win? Everything you have. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> so if it was the other thing, I'd lose it all. Is that right? I didn't say that. No, sure not. Oh, it was a pleasure meeting you, Wallaby. And, uh, you know, don't play too many games now, because, uh, play too many games, you might get into a bit of trouble. Have a good one. He's rocker a little. I mean, he's doing the same things he usually does. He's just unhinged. That was a pretty good scene. I'm happy with that. He's just Jesus slipped off his cracker. I've never heard that term, but it sounds amazing. No, he's never roughed a mullet. This is his first time having long hair. War? Is there law in there? I know that guy. I'm gonna say hello to him. I'm um, excuse me. Um, have you seen Delaney around by any chance? And he works in the saloon in um, Valentine. Can't say I have. Um, sorry, what did you say? Can't say I have. Oh, oh, um. Is that you, Wallaby? Mm hmm. Oh, it's, um, it's Cass. Um, did you get the sweets I gave, um, I gave a bag of sweets to Goldie to give to you? No. She never gave oh. them to me. Oh. You might want to check Blackwood on. Oh, is Delaney there? 
be. Yeah. All right, I'll try black water. Um, by the way, um, I'm gonna get on that thing if you still need me to uh, find out about. Uh, do you, you don't need me to go asking about. Um, you no. know the floods. All right. I'll do that. Thank you. It's all right. All right. Um, have a good day then. How you doing? I remember you. Sorry? I remember you. Oh, I didn't realize we'd met. Sorry, what was your name? The Wallaby Kid. Hmm. And who am I? You're the nice fella I spoke to at the camp. Hmm. How you been? Oh, I couldn't be better. How are you? How have you been? That's what's more important. I've, um... I've been good. Yeah. You Hello. good. You look healthy and strong. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a medic now. Oh, you help people. You save people. Mm-hmm. I, uh... Where have you been? Not far. You're looking good. Um, <clears throat> you really mean that? Yeah. Do you, um, you're good? Like, you're uh, feeling okay? go where they need me. An honest job for an honest man. <laughs> looking for work or something? No. Some really bad people tried to break my brain, Dr. Man. <laughs> well... Where did this happen? Oh, you know. The island. Right. But That's they where didn't. you've been. They didn't break my brain. That's, um... That's good. That's, um... Yeah. That's, how do they try and break your brain? Oh, they put me in a really dark place, but you know what the beautiful thing is about dark places? You have a lot of time to think, and I've been doing a lot of thinking. Mm -hmm. Things I could do better, different. Better isn't good? Oh, I've seen the light. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so what are you going to do now? <sighs> it's 
تصرفو And if it was tails? Have a lovely day, Doctor Man. <laughs> you, you too. He ran so fast. Good for him, man. Let's get some twisters in the chat, boys and gals, if you got them. Right now, my, my job and my goal is to get Wallaby's presence back out there. Get his name back out there in circulation. That he's back. Get people talking about how he's different. I love the, um, the difference between the wave emote and the twist emote. Just how much the characters changed. And it's the exact same character model, but just how much he's changed just by simple tweaks. It's kind of interesting. Get as un unhinged as McLeod. McLeod's not unhinged. He's just pure evil. The kid's not evil. He, the kid's not. He's not evil. He's he's been broken, and his perception on things has changed through through uh, a broken lens. He sees the world a very different place than he did before. And that comes down to consequences of doing so much time in Sisica. I feel like if I had just done 16 days OOC in Sisica and came out exactly the same, I'd be doing an injustice to Sisica. I'd be doing an injustice to Big L. Uh, and just a, an injustice to the character. There, ne there, there needed to be a consequence for being put away for as long as he was put away for. Especially a character that uh, is notoriously not mentally strong. It's actually tragic more than it is scary. I I of course it's scary. People like outside looking in Coming across the Wallaby Kid would be a scary thing because he is very unhinged and uh, the way he talks. Um, but in reality, it's a very sad story. I'm using a filter, yes. It's a, it's like a bluish tint, so the skies are bluer, obviously. I could probably change, let me just see. What would fit him best? Let me have a look. I, I, I didn't really go through them. So I got different filters. I could do a custom one, maybe. 
Uh, so there's obviously grey, black and white, which we don't want. Yeah, we don't want that. Dramatic. That, that darkens it quite a bit. I don't really like that. Flashback. It just takes some of the colour away. Then there's inverted. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Uh, there's action movie, which is the one I've been using. Then there's the Boyd. That's, that's the Boyd filter. Winter green. That's like the matrix i would say it's probably the matrix then there's heat map fucking predator vision and then there's that they all kind of suck except for void and action i went with action because it's colder color um i could probably i could probably do something custom let me just see what i can do custom so we could turn the contrast hold on contrast no we don't want contrast we want that back at zero we can put the saturation up if i wanted to but i don't want to i want to make it lower not that low though like that maybe and then maybe the brightness up <laughs> Hmm. Gamma. Make it a little darker. Like that, maybe? Let me put saturation up a little bit more. Like that. How's that look? I could fuck around with it more, obviously, and, and, and perfect it, but that is... It pops a little bit more, but it's still darker, which I like. Show us before and after. Okay, sure. So, this is... Oh, wait, can I turn it off? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, so this is this is with the filter. That's without. It's, it's, a, it's a very slight difference. It's darker, and then the colors are a little bit richer. It's just a little, it's just a little tweak. Just a little tweak. <laughs> Unfortunately, this, it, depending on how things go, the kid could absolutely die. You guys know me. I'm not, I'm not opposed to killing off a character. If it heads in that direction. It could go anywhere, though. To be completely frank with you. It could, it could go many, many, many directions. I think our first meeting with Missy is going to be very important. How Missy, um... Responds. Um... Is going to be... Important. If, if Missy, like... If, if Missy, like rejects him if Missy uh does that Ugh. god knows what would happen after that probably wouldn't be pretty because he doesn't think that he's he doesn't think he's damaged he doesn't think he's broken he's trying to hide he's trying to hide it but it's so obvious <laughs> has really changed since the beginning of being a solo act and having fun and being innocent. Absolutely, man. That's the beauty of uh, storytelling, right? There's, a, there's an arc. <coughs> Arcs are so important. It's very easy to fall into the trap of the character being the same and just playing the character the same. Um, having an arc is, is so important. Why perm over a girl? I never said I'd perma over a girl. I said it could lead into a direction. I'm not saying if I'm not saying if Missy turns him away, I'm going to perma. What I'm saying is, if Missy turns him away, that's going to lead him down a darker path, which could potentially end up at the end of the day being a perma or whatever else. Could be anything. 
If you don't think that Miss is a catalyst to the kid, like, you haven't been paying attention. They're a very strong couple. Is it how I maintain two characters once? I got no idea because I haven't really done it. This is the first time I've done it. Um... Two very different characters, too. We're to Rhodes. We'll check telegrams. Uh, because I did send one to Jack. But I doubt... I doubt... Peppo's even around. It's pretty early for him, still. And that's the same thing with Baz. I know, I know a lot of people think that Baz died because of Molly. And that's not true. There was so much building up to that. That was that was. When someone says that, it's completely ignoring like months worth of uh, storytelling and development I put into that character. To suggest it was just one any one thing. It's a disservice. Uh, so, the way it works is, um, I can play the Wallaby Kid until Boyd is a deputy. Once I become a deputy, uh, I can't play the Wallaby Kid for 30 days. Um, so we'll see how that goes. why uh, i think it's a few reasons I, th I think the main reason is they want people that are new new to law to really dedicate the first chunk of their experience to actually learning the the role um, and th i guess they f they fear that if someone's bouncing around different characters they're not going to put uh, as much time into learning and remembering what they need to learn about law i think that's the main reason i i think you could probably cut it from 30 days down to two weeks but that's just me personally Ooh. Ooh. Pixie's around. She's at Blackwater. Yes. Oh, shit. This is going to be interesting. Hey, Goose. How you doing, dude? He, he made some new connections in jail, too. Probably two snakes. Speedy, maybe. Thorn. There is absolutely a chance. I'm not going to lie. There's an absolute chance that the kid just says, you know, fuck LJ. <laughs> fuck the dead end kids in terms of, like, how they want to do things if they don't go along with him. And just create something new. With 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 Tommy and, and Speedy and Missy. There's... there's possibility of all that i got no idea where we're going that's that's what's that's what's so fun about this character right now the kid was way more predictable before and i kind of knew where his head was at right now he could go anywhere anywhere you think being law will increase or decrease quality content i mean I did Lord today, just as Cadet, and I thought the stream was pretty damn good. Uh, so I don't think it's going to decrease. It's just going to make things... It's just going to be different. But if, you're, if you're asking if it's going to decrease or increase Wallaby content, dude, Wallaby was doing major time in Sisica consistently without Boyd. And I don't think that's going to change. This character, the way that I play him, OOC benches are going to be a regular thing with him. Regardless... If I'm playing Law or not. I think Law's a really good change up. It gets me... I get to roleplay with different people. Uh, also, it teaches me a lot as well. I, I, I'll become better at being an outlaw. In terms of being a, a better role player By playing uh, Law, I feel.
They're both very different. I'm, I, I love them both. I really do. I love them both for different reasons. I think the moment where Wallaby kind of, where his brain fractured was that scene up here with Bob. That's where the fracture happened. And then Siska and Solitary broke the rest of what was there. Yeah, Goosey, 100%. Just, just an example today, for example, um, we had that thing with... Um, with Marcus and we didn't we didn't arrest him or anything but we went to his house and he had put a detail down of a gun with one bullet missing and that that, that moment was like a like a oh, holy shit that's so cool I, I want to do something like that that's an awesome thing I would never have thought of doing that that's a really cool idea and uh, instantly learnt something um, in terms of of RP instantly learnt something Out of all the characters you made, which one was your favorite? Oh, well, I mean, it's got to be Baz, right? Baz was my first, man. And also with Baz, I had a full story with him. I haven't finished these stories yet. We're still in the... We're still um, creating these stories. Ask me once I've finished these stories. Then I can go back and give you a proper sort of opinion but Baz had a complete story he had a beginning middle and end these characters haven't had that yet so he's got an advantage As your favorite out of all your characters including the ones in different games um yeah 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 i learned listen i learned a lot playing baz was it my best like rp probably not i think i've improved as an rp -er, i think i mean there's probably people watching that don't like me and like no, fuck off you haven't but i feel like i feel like i have i feel like i've become a better role player since baz i think i learned like the tr I, I learned i learned so much um from playing baz I'm um, sorry, but I find it hard to stay involved in trade with Boyd now. His origin story is cool, but lore sucks to watch from a viewer standpoint. It's... See, that that comment is kind of... Eh? Because how would you... Like, you haven't given me a chance to really do lore, man. I've done one cadet stream, and you're already, like, deciding to, like, disconnect from the character. I haven't done anything with him yet. You're giving up very early, man. You're tapping out, like... Forget tapping out at round one. You're tapping out at the fucking, like, the ring entrance, man. Like, like I'm walking down to the ring to do a 12-round fight. And as soon as I've started my ring walk, you're like, nah, 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 nah. Not interested in this fight. This is this sucks. This fucking fight sucks, man. I can't, I can't watch it. That's, that's, that's... Come on, man. Give me a fucking chance. Let me fight a few rounds, man.
Maybe I'll surprise you. Or maybe I won't. You'll just fucking hate it. I don't know. Give me a fucking chance, though. I'm just a cadet. One wild RP streamer said they consider you the best RP on the server. How's that make you feel? Oh, that's a huge fucking, oh, um, that's a really amazing thing for someone to say. I don't agree with it at all. I think I'm average, but the fact that someone thinks that means a lot to me because the, the standard is very high on the server. That means a lot. That means, a lot. I don't know who said that, but that um you just that just made my night thank you who said that i want to know that's a really nice thing to say you, I'm, now i've got a smile on my face and i don't know if i can play dark wallaby <laughs> it's that's such a kind fucking thing to say holy shit have to ask who do I rate the highest as an RP on the server Ooh. huh um I'll say the best RP, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name, I'm gonna say a few, okay? And it's a bit of a cop out, but I honestly believe this. Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Graham, it's gonna be Nia, um, it's gonna be Literal Bear. Um, those are the, the RPers, uh, that, I think are the best and it's not because um they're amazing voice actors which they are by the way but that's not the reason it's not it's not because uh, uh of scenes although they are great at those as well it's because they get it they they are the standard in which every role player should strive to be in terms of etiquette and giving and just understanding role play. If everyone had the same mindset, if everyone, if every outlaw and every law person had their attitude and and, and weren't obsessed with uh, winning conflicts or weren't focused on just getting the arrest, if everyone had their mindset, the server would be even better than it is. And it is a really good fucking server. So the, the bar is already high. But those are the like, those are the RPs that I'm like I want to be as good as they are at giving RP, and they're not judgmental at all on other people's RP. They're really nice people, um, and there's nothing better than running into like a literal bear or a Nia, knowing that. I don't have to stress that I'm going to upset them. I don't have to stress that I'm going to say or do the wrong thing. I just know that they're really chill people. And that's, it's such a... If you're a role player, you know that that's one of the most um, comforting feelings is when you know that you're in the presence of someone that is is just really cool and, and, and knows what they're doing and is just really cool about it. You left out a ton. I, I could go on and on. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. But I'm just saying that's the mold. That's the mold. Trench Mouth is in that mold. Yep, 100%. Ride is in that mold. There's so many of them. That's why it's a bit of a cop-out answer. But uh, if, if, if you're talking about, like, characters, in terms of, like, a character, like, who's the best... Who would I, who would I feel is the best, like... Oh, it's hard, man. If, if, if I'm... If I'm watching... If I'm watching... 
uh, I have to say my favorite characters to watch, like character role players, um, it's going to be like, when it comes to scenes, I think Moon is right up there. Moon, Moon is phenomenal. Uh, I'm not just saying that because he's, he's my mate. It's true. Um, Moon is, Moon, when it comes to, when it comes to scenes, Moon's up there, man. And Smokey. Smokey, Smokey is incredible. Amazing poker scenes. Hey, listen, when he's not playing poker, he, he Moon has a, a, a very good ability to, um, once he isn't doing poker, to do some amazing stuff. He's got a really cool mix of being able to do comedy and serious, which is really hard to do. Really hard to do. He can be really, really dark, or he can be really, really funny, depending on how he's feeling. <clears throat> but, I mean, I, I could do literally a list. I mean, Jenny's amazing too. I, I, everyone in the Dead End Kids, I do. I, I can go on. It's, it's really, it's, it's really an unfair question. So I'm going to give you an unfair answer and just say, you know, it's the majority of people, man. Yeah, just the just majority of them. Peppo. Can't, can't forget my boy Peppo. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just going to get a, a drink real quick. I'm hoping that she doesn't show up in the, like, the two minutes that I'm gone, but I'm sure she will. Be right back. Goosey as well. While well, I'm at it, let's put him on the list. The, the the moments I've had with Goosey have always been enjoyable. You want a war right here, right now? Because we're ready. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's a, such a funny moment because he wasn't ready at all. <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> Do you want a war right here, right now? Because we're ready. Ah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> they got fucked up too. I don't think they downed anybody in that fight, right? I, I think we, we downed every one of them and fucking Frank just legged it. Frank, Frank, Frank just ran for the hills. Oh man. Frank just ran for the hills. Are you ping? Oh yeah, Goosey. Dude, I was the only Aussie in the fucking group. And he wants that Aussie ping. I point blanked him with a fucking shotgun and he just he just ate the bullets and it did like no damage. Fucking bullshit. Did I miss a great scene? 
Uh, no, we're just shooting the shit, dude. We're waiting for uh, Missy. It's just hilarious how quick you were to react to that. We're ready. I know. Dude, that, honestly, that moment was more of a vertigo moon thing. I've got to be honest with you. He, 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 he was just rubbing me the wrong fucking way when he said that. I'm like, you know what, moon? Fuck you, dude. I'm just going to fucking light you up, bro. <laughs> I'll just fucking light you up. And I think I hear a horse. I've got to be honest. The, the potential of... Tommy and uh, Wallaby teaming up. It makes me excited because me and him have never really teamed up in a roleplay before. That could be legendary. It has a lot of potential. I thought I heard a horse. Oh. It's all green now. Yeah. How you been? I'm good. Um, um Bill Joe and Magnolia's here as well, just so you know. Billy Joe. Yeah, Billy Joe Barbell. Yeah, the singing guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where, where, where is everybody? Uh, the, the, <laughs> the kids? Yeah. Mm, I think they might be sleeping now. I think they were around earlier because I had a lot of telegrams I missed. Oh. Um. Um. I, I heard, I heard that, I heard some things, but... Talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm so pleased to see you. I'm really happy to see you. Tell me everything. I haven't been here for so long. Oh boy, there's a lot to tell. Yeah. I made some new friends. Uh huh? Yeah, twisted friends. <laughs> twisted friends? Yeah. Like my pigtails? Yeah. Twisted all like up like your fiaki, like your pigtails. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, we, we can meet them. We can meet them. You're, you're friends? Yeah. They tried to break. <laughs> they tried to get in my head, Miss. But I wouldn't let them. They kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. And my head just hurts so much sometimes. And I don't know how to make it better. But I've been thinking a lot and I've got a lot of ideas that I want to share with everybody. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, uh, we'll figure out what to do to help your headache. Yeah. And, um, and now look forward to your ideas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I went, I went both land today with Billy Joel and Magnolia and Melvin. Oh. We went down the rapids, it was really funny. Rapids. And, yeah, and we saw a, a turtle from a turtle man. And then we saw the turtle off the Bacchus Bridge and saw it <laughs> flop into the radio. <laughs> We should go to town. I need to get some food and water. Oi. <laughs> Come on, Neil. I got this away again. <clears throat> hey, let's go. Good to see you, kid. I haven't seen uh you in a long time. <laughs> How you been? I couldn't be better. Good. Are you Are you Brit? Ah. Was that the melody I think it was? I've been missing that. I've, I've been I've been practicing my hustling just so I could do that melody because it's very nice. But more importantly. Are you all right? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, okay. Whew. Oh, that scared me. Well, that's good to hear. They didn't want me to be all right, but I'm, I'm better than ever I've got. Who? I've got. All right. You can't tell anybody. Of course, of course. There's always people listening. I want to try to know yeah. what I'm thinking all the time. But I'm going to be more careful. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> so who's... Wait. They, they can tell what you're thinking? They try to, they're trying to. Who? You know, them. It is them, right? Yeah, the boss men. Fuck. Yeah. So what's the plan? Well, I mean, Shh. what you can tell me about it. That is good to hear, my friend. <laughs> Man, we need the legends alive and well. All right? Yeah. And you're going to be one of them. You know this. You're the wall of me fucking kid. I'll rephrase that at some point. Yeah. Who's the lady? Patty, I'm Magnolia. Oh, this is Magnolia. Oh, yeah. She can introduce herself to... <laughs> You can call me Wallaby. A pleasure. I've heard a lot about you. You're Man. impressive. Yeah. That's quite an honor. He told me I could call him Kid. Yeah. So, can I call you Wallaby too now? Yeah. <laughs> We're friends. All right. Whew. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, we got a wagon. Oh, yeah. 
And also, yeah, I'm get liking you. whatever you need. I got you, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. <sighs> it's like babes in the morning. Want to sit back in front? Move it back a little. That was very nice. That was the Let magic right see. there. I tell you what, first time I heard that whistling, I, I <laughs> damn near shed myself. Uh, hey, Magnolia, right? Yes, sir. Heads or tails? Um, heads. Hey! Hey! You win! Ha! <laughs> Neat. Hell yeah. You get to live. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. I'll take tails, please. I didn't ask if you could play. Oh, sorry. Fine. You know, what just, you know, I, I make the rules, you know. And yeah, naturally, you're a kid. Oh, wow, me. When you were in Sisoka, we went around robbing people of their boots. And I actually successfully whistled the tune twice. You did the wallaby whistle. Yeah, twice. Twice. You gotta show me. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I walked like 30 pairs of boots and only managed to twice. I did hear you stole a lot of boots. Eddie told me. It's adorable. <laughs> You did it. That sounded pretty good. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. That was a lot of pleasure. That was great. That was really good. Mm hmm. I've been practicing. Couldn't let him forget the tune just because you and Sissica. Oh, also, there was um, a, a news reporter that came and asked me about you. And one of the, the way to scoop on the wall if you can. Really? Yeah. Am I in the paper? Well, uh, he was gonna put you in the paper, but that was when you were in Sissica. He asked, where's the wall if And I said, he's in the Sissica. And they said, where's he coming now? And I said, I don't know. They won't let him use his telegrams. Hey, kid. Yeah? I, <clears throat> I don't want to put too fine a pawn, point on it, but uh, <clears throat> something something seems a little bit different about you. He's got long hair now. Mm-hmm. Well, that might be it.
I love how Missy's just like in denial or she's just so happy to see that she's not seeing it. That's actually really cool. I wasn't expecting that. That's really cool. <clears throat> Okay, um, I think I might leave you two with the wagon, if that's okay. That's alright. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Be safe. It was nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. You two have, have a good night. Good night. Yeah, likewise. When I was a kid, remember, if you ever need any, like, potions or anything of the kind, we've dropped the prices a lot now. So, uh, yeah, we can hook you up. So yeah, I was good hanging out with you today, Missy, and uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I wish y'all a good time. Mm -hmm. Many, many smooches. <laughs> 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 All right, Kit. It's a pleasure seeing you again. Y'all be safe now. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Whoa now. Did you have a good talk? Uh, he thinks something might be wrong with you. Is that what he said? Well, yeah, and he said they they have like, um, like, like s stuff to help your mind and stuff if 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 it's not okay. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of people out there trying to get inside of your head. And tell you lies about me. Try to make you feel different about me. Your laugh sounds poignant. Hmm. It doesn't change how I feel about you. How I love you. Well, 
went away Are you sure? the words of gazers so highly on a pedestal. Are you sure you still feel the same way? Of course I do. They're just jealous of what we have. Don't let them get inside your brain. That's what they tried to do to me and Sissica. They tried to change the way that I think and feel. They tried to get inside my mind. I didn't let them. And now they're out here. Telling others to do the same thing to you. <sighs> Eddie was right. Eddie was right. These geezers out here. Trying to think where to begin. Because a lot of things have happened. So, you know, we walked a lot of shoes, right? Total of 30 pairs of shoes now, which should be enough to to do the funeral. Um, I was told that he's. And you probably need to have the funeral soon because oh, it's getting warmer and the barn is getting warmer and the ice is melting faster and so it's, we're not gonna be able to keep him in the barn for much longer. Um, while we were robbing shoes, there was a lady, she pulled out a knife and charged to Eddie. And then, uh, Eddie was bending over trying to whoop someone up, so she missed him. And then she charged at me with the knife, and I pushed her off with me. And then, I uh, shot at her. And also this guy that, um, Eddie had hired, called Jonathan, he shot at too, and she tried to charge at me a second time. So he defended me. members that didn't want to give their boots up and so uh, he shot him and then the cut came and stabbed uh, a girl called Clementine because she was with Eddie when he did it. Mm. And Clement 
Tom poisoned LJ's girlfriend, which is Wenny. LJ and Wenny are now dating. And LJ was planning a double date together with Peaches and Sam. Because Peaches and Sam is an official couple. What? Uh-huh. And after Clementine poisoned LJ's girlfriend, I said that she's trouble because she's got a foot name and we have uh, problems with girls with foot names and their feelings. Because it's true, there's Peaches and now there's Clown Tom. And they both done stuff to LG and Eddie. And it's causing so much trouble. And then Eddie was like trying to defend Clementine because she like helped him when the wobbly and stuff. Peaches threatened you. Yeah. What? That's what you told me. In the telegram. Oh, she, um... She, uh, she said, she claims she's trying to warn us about the Summers Gang. Yeah. But it sounded like a sweat to me. Yeah, well, I'm gonna show her. And then, um... Uh, and then she's freaking out on me consistently in telegrams without me even doing anything. I don't know what her problem is. Well, she's about to have one. <laughs> what, well, LG and her are friends? I don't care. And LG is friends with a lot of people now. And apparently he has a lot of businesses going on too. He like... Did you know he used to sell guns to the cut? Did you know there? No. And he's selling to the, the, the chestnuts. And apparently he's doing like a lot of stuff now. He's got like a lot of businesses going on. And he's been trying to like make us money or something he says. Have you missed? Mm, oh yeah, LG was basically crying the other day because he said that Eddie said that he doesn't trust him or something. And to be honest, it feels like we're almost tearing apart. Like the kids. And it's very really sad. Cause we're supposed to be best friends. Together forever, no matter what. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna fix everything. And I barely heard from Chrissy at all, but the granted, I've not really tried to reach out to her. And she sent me one telegram the entire time. And uh, Rufy has been telegramming me a few times, asking me if we need more boots or, or if I need anything. Mm. Stop here.
The boss man. The warden. The boss man. The boss man. Who's the boss man? Is that what you want? I'm sure I want to kill all of them. What do you mean? You were the one that wanted to do everything for Bob. No? Well, yeah, to the people that were denying us information and to the people that had done something to him, but not all of them have. Do you not remember? The transport to Sisica? How yeah, they laughed? Yeah, I do remember that. I do remember that, but only part of me, because that was where we were dragged up. Well, they laughed about Bob's death. They thought it was funny. Okay, so let's make a list. Because I have someone I want to add to that list. Stealing boots on my own. I went 
to the telegram station in Valentine. There was a man there with a shaved head. Uh, I said, hello. He said, not today, and walked off. I walked after. And I said, please, can I have your boots? And he said, no. And I said, pretty please, would you go on top? And he said, no. I know what you're up to. And I pulled my gun, and he pulled his gun at the exact same time. And we were standing there, pointing our guns at each other. And I said, give me your boots now. And he said, put your gun away. And I said, give me your fucking boots right now. And he said, aren't you missing someone? And I said, what the fuck's that supposed to mean? And he said, well, aren't there supposed to be two of you? to my side. I couldn't hold the tears back. I started walking away. And he kept shouting, put your gun away. Put your gun away. And I said, why? And he said, put your gun away. And I refused, and so he shot in my direction. And then I turned back and I looked at him and I said, what, you guys shoot me in the back now? Like, you guys shot Bob? Then I turned back and kept walking. His name is Sheriff O'Malley. If we're making a list, we want to add him. But some people weren't involved, and some people are nice. And I don't want to hurt them. Nice. Some of them weren't involved. Some people deserve it, I agree. I don't think everyone does.
I have one more thing to say. Tal has traveled away for a bit. I don't know how long. I don't even know if he's gonna come back. He didn't even properly say goodbye before he left. With all our money. Yeah. To detail in case whatever is listening. But really, everyone? Harry Kelt, thank you for the three months, dude. Loans, I thank you for the gift of sub, dude. Sorry it took so long to get to that. It's gonna come with massive consequence. <laughs> dude, how you doing, dude? Well done earlier, mate. Well done earlier. And those of you don't know, Duke of Flukes in the chat, he's the uh, fella that we ran into the bank earlier. We ran out. That's fucking great. Revert one. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? What we think? Because you got away? <laughs> Dude, I'll let you go, bro. I'll let him go. <laughs> uh huh, sure. Okay. Don't tempt me, dude. Don't dance on the minefield. Is my best advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love you too, dude. Much love, mate. Much fucking love. <clears throat> it's nice to be out. Was. I don't want to lose you either. Mm. 
If I go too hard... They're gonna execute us. He's now the type of taxidermy missy if she dies. Wow, is that what you think of him? Man, that's... Oh, my heart, dude. No. No, that's not what he is, man. That's not what he is at all. We gotta go to Bolivia. <laughs> Can you reach into my pocket? Thing to drink. I got a little bit of water. How's Eddie doing? Mm, he's doing okay. I would not turn like I said, he was a little soft on Clementine, so I told him he was being soft, and then he told Clementine that we don't like. Girls with fruit names and she can't be our friend and she's not gonna ever be a dying kid Who? The Clementine girl, the one that poisoned LG's girlfriend Oh The books are closed Yeah What the fuck? Do you want some chocolate milk? Yeah. Let's get some chocolate milk. I'm getting tired. I'll get you some chocolate milk and then... So long. I want to sleep with you next to me. Okay. Let's get some chocolate meal and then we'll go find somewhere to sleep. Yeah. Time to dispose the rotten fruit. Yeah. Maybe. Peaches has always been kind of a problem. She's too wishy washy. been a long time. Yeah. Hey, Bitsy. Yeah? Yeah? I'm still the same.
No matter what he said. I still love yeah. you. I still love you. They really tried. They really tried. I'm not gonna let them win. So I had to break my wall of bay. Watch out. Okay. This is a sh shambles. Yeah, it's better than anything I've slept in for a long time. This is awful. this I'm not happy <laughs> kill me out he's long gone oh there he is no, he's here that's where pigman was born yes yes true true hey yeah don't tell anyone that I'm out I want it to be a surprise Oi. You let me know when everyone's about and you can get into the, the clubhouse and there I can show up and they're going to be so happy to see me. It'll be like a reunion. Yeah, I think that would be nice. But whenever you're in Sissica and everyone else is out here, it's like we don't even communicate, we don't talk, we don't... We don't do anything. It's just been me and Eddie trying to just talk to each other, and then LJ's been well with his girlfriend, and I, Chrissy, I don't even know what she's doing. Fuck me, guys. I've been going for two and a half hours. Well, I only played. He's been in contact, but not when I've been awake, so. I've missed him. I was only planning to stream the uh, release. <laughs> this is this is going for about two hours longer than I expected, guys. My bad. My bad. I am getting tired. I did an eight. I done an eight and a half hour stream earlier today. For us. Could, have stayed, could have stayed right there. And I think you know it too. Okay. Because we've been there before. Oh. You're like Ignacy. Did you eat the food I gave you? Do you need anything else? No, I just need oh, rest. Please. Okay. They don't let it's you rest. Just up here. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I remember God in the door all night. Well, it's my turn to guard the door in the house. 
I want you in the bed with me. Okay. Aching, smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds 